Hello there. I'm Alex from Doc365. In this SharePoint tutorial video, I am going to show you how to share a SharePoint site. Now you might think why I should share a site when I can share all my documents and other content in my site separately to users or groups. Well, if you wish to give full control to your site, you can share permissions or add users to your site. However, if you are looking to share your site to people or groups of users instantly without any other advanced permissions, the share site option works better. It helps you to grab attention of people instantly. Here is how you can do it. There is a slight difference in options for both uh, communication site and Office 365 group connected team sites. Let's see how it is done. So I am in one of my uh, Office 365 group connected uh, team sites here. Uh, the site name is HR Info. So uh, if you want, if you wish to share this site to people, all you need is to click on the settings first and go to site permissions, click on site permissions. And here you will get to see uh, the groups here and also uh, the option to add members. Click on it. And if you wish to add uh, individual members to any of these groups below, you can use the option add members to group. And if you wish to share the site, uh, you can choose the share site only option. So you will see uh, a notification here saying that uh, uh, this site is part of a Microsoft 365 group. And if you are adding users here, they will be given access to the site, but not to other group resources such as calendars and conversations. So you can go back to the this option over here and uh, do that add members if you wish to give act, full access to the site. Uh, otherwise, you can uh, add users here. So I am uh, entering a username here and trying to share the site with him. So this is the user I am I have chosen to share the site with and along with that, you'll get to see a, a message box here. Uh, you can send this message uh, through mail through uh, as a notification mail. So you can enter a, a message here saying, uh, what's the purpose of this sharing option? And if you wish uh, not to uh, send an email, you can uncheck this box so that uh, that option is gone. And once you are done, just click on add to complete the process. Yeah. Now you have uh, shared the site successfully with that particular uh, user. And that's how you share a site, you share a team site uh, in SharePoint. And let's now see uh, how it is done in a uh, communication site. Let's go to one of my communication sites here. Yeah, this is one of my communication sites uh, specifically created for a uh, event. So let me uh, show you the option here. Yeah, as you can see, there's a share option here, click on it. So this is a share option uh, you will get to see in the communication site. Uh, as in the same case, you can enter the username here. I'm clicking, the, entering the same user here. Uh, same as before, you will get to send an email and you can enter the message here. If you wish to uh, avoid sending mail, just uncheck the box again. And you can also uh, edit the permissions here, uh, just below the username. It's uh, read only right now. You can choose uh, full control or you can edit the permissions if you wish. I mean, uh, you can give the user the option to edit the uh, site if you wish. Uh, let's keep it read only for now and click on share. So the user will be provided uh, the rights uh, to uh, view the entire site uh, easily. So that's how uh, these options uh, work. And uh, try these options and share your site with people more effectively. Uh, let us know your experience in the comment section below. Uh, see you with another useful SharePoint video soon. Have a good rest of the day.